Hi, welcome back. I think you are clear with the previous lecture where I had discussed the snubber circuit, okay, and how to protect the SCR from DI by DT and gate production, thermal over current over voltage. They are simple things, but this DI by DT and DV by DT, they are I think something special, okay, which you must have never come across earlier, okay. So you'll have to put your attention on understanding those aspects. I think you must have understood. I told you you had to watch it twice and PDF, follow the PDF, write the notes. Then I don't think you'll have some issues. You will have some issues. Okay. All your issues will be resolved if you do that. But if you still have something, I would like to clarify those things right now with the help of interesting animation. Okay. So this is a circuit. Now I have a switch, main switch, thyristor not fired, no triggering is given. I'm giving the main supply. If you give the main supply, what will happen? Current will flow through this. No, it will not flow through this because it is not on. I have not fired this. And you can have here, I have used here DC supply. You can have AC supply also. AC supply case, things will be a little easier. Why they're easier? They're easier because you'll have to focus on the peak value because everywhere it is slowly increasing. Anyways, current itself, the supply itself is slowly increasing. Supply voltage itself is slowly increasing. So current will also slowly increase. Not a problem. Okay. So there you have to understand how to deal with maximum. If it is turned on at maximum value, how to deal with that. You have to understand that in case of AC. Okay. I mean to say, if you understand for DC case, things will be pretty much clear if you have AC input here. You don't have to worry much about it. Okay. Yeah. Let me now turn the switch on. Then guess what will happen? If I just turn on the switch, the current flowing, the current flowing through this will be from zero. It will slowly increase after some value. It will decrease because capacity is charging slowly, slowly, slowly. It will come down to zero value slowly capacity is charged as capacitor voltage is building up current will reduce okay so this kind of current will be flowing through this let us see i'm turning on the switch see capacitor voltage you see the positive plate negative plate slowly build up you want to watch again okay let me turn on the switch again i'm turning on the switch look at the voltage voltage slowly building up and current is slowly increasing and again decreasing current and voltage if you want to go back and rewind and watch okay so now current is decreasing during this time also capacitor here capacitor will slowly charge okay so small amount of current is flowing slowly capacitor is charging to its full value so this voltage is 50 volts almost equal to the supply voltage okay now now Tell me during this process, during this process, what is the voltage across this or what is the rate of change of voltage across this thyristor, rate of change of anode to cathode voltage, maximum value, maximum value of rate of change of voltage across the thyristor is equal to, yes. Maximum value will come here when there is a maximum rate of change of current flowing through this. When maximum value of rate of change of current flowing through this, this will be short circuited. Means initially at the moment switch is closed, this will be short circuited and that current RS into DIS. Let us take it as IS, IS by DT maximum. Okay, this is into so this is the value, maximum value of dv by dt across the thyristor, across the thyristor. Okay, anode and cathode. Clear? So this capacitor and this resistor combination is helping us to restrict this dv by dt within the limit. Okay, you design the value of RS and CS in such a way that this value will be within the limit. Okay, now I'm just firing this 
SER now. I'm firing. I'm giving a firing signal to SER. Then what do you think what will happen? If I give firing signal to SER, this will drive the current. Slowly current will increase. This current will slowly increase. And this capacitor will be discharged through this. So this capacitor voltage is slowly coming down to zero and the current also from the maximum value it will slowly come down to zero. So observe the current in this and current in this. Okay, I'm firing this SER. See, this current is increasing, this current is decreasing, this voltage is decreasing. Rewind and play again. Okay, well, let me rewind for you and play again. So observe the current in this and current in this. Okay, I'm firing this SER. See, this current is increasing, this current is decreasing, this voltage is decreasing. Yeah, clear. Okay, rewind and playing is clear. So this is, and this RS will also help us to limit this current. Let's see what will happen if I don't use RS. I'm not having RS, suppose. I'm not having RS. Okay. I'm turning on this. So it is slowly. It will charge. It will charge to maximum value. The moment I fire this, the moment I fire this, this capacitor will suddenly discharge through this. Within small time, completely it will be discharged through this. And this current will slowly increase as it is. Let's see. See, the moment I fire this, this voltage will be suddenly zero and that will drive huge current through the tires so that will be damaged. Okay. Boom. It got discharged already. And if that high current, if thyristor is not rated for such high current, then it will be damaged. Thyristor will be damaged. The first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach. Get the best education with Pi Square Academy and make your gate electrical dreams come true. Download the app now.